to create a layout, you need to start from adding a row. You can just add a row. You will have immediately one row and one column. A row will always have at least one column inside. You can add more columns by clicking a plus. You can also create a layout. This is two columns. And you can see that the two columns I had became both the same size. Since this is Bootstrap Grid, the both columns are call MD6. You can also have three columns with column MD4. And you can create your own layout. Let's say I want to have six columns with two white. There you go. Six columns, column MD2. Let's modify the layout. In this layout, we have a row, a column, and a text block inside. Let's say I want to add a padding between the row and the next row. I go into the edit section, design, and I can add a bigger margin. Let's say 100 pixels. There, I have added 100 pixels. I can also add Paddings inside this column. Same thing, only I go to Paddings. There, you can see I have added the padding. Here I can do the same. Let's say I added 30 pixels. And you can see both top, bottom, left and right have 30 pixels. Let's say I want to change the color of the background. And you can see that the background is stretching to both sides. This is an option for the row to stretch the row. If I go to default, it will look like this. But I choose to stretch the row and I can also choose to stretch the row and the content, like so. But let's stay with just the row. Now I want to change the background color, I go to the bottom and I pick another color. Let's say greenish, something like that. There. Or I can choose a pattern. You can download a lot of patterns from the internet. I just like this one. You can see that the pattern is just one image, but that's not what I want. I want it to repeat. There. Well, now I can't see the text. So what I want to do is add a background. I go to design, go to background color. And what I want is white, but I want it to be a little bit with opacity. No, that's not enough. Let's make it darker. There. What I also want is to have this padding, but a margin would work here. So I go to column and I add a margin to the top, which is 30 pixels. So now it looks like this. 